So today's meditation is a little counterintuitive. Um, if you feel that um, this is not the time to do it, that it doesn't work for you, that's totally acceptable and natural. Um, just ignore the instructions. <laughs> that's what guided meditations are like. There's guidance and then there's what happens for us. So just releasing all tensions in the mind, establishing my awareness, paying attention without tension, and establishing my physical posture, releasing tensions in the body, and allowing for an upright position. and sensing or establishing an upward movement in the spine. Very subtle, nothing very gross, not too much muscle, just sensing an upward movement moving up the spine and allowing the shoulder blades to release downwards. There's an upward movement and a downward movement. And as you sense this upward movement in the front of the spine, find the place that is spacious or calm just in front of the spine. So it's the spine, but not the back skin, but the part that's towards the abdomen. It might be between your sits bones, in front of the tailbone, or the sacrum. It could be just below the navel, or it could be at the level of the diaphragm, or in back of the chest, It might be in a throat or in the neck, or it could be in the skull. Find the space that resonates in your body that gives you the sense of calmness.
I am aware of the constant movement in my body. There's that energetic movement up along the spine and the downward movement of the shoulder blades. There's the movement of my lungs, constant movement of the lungs. Movement of my heart, constantly moving. My intestines, my blood, Cells and tissues are in constant movement, constant exchange, forming and unforming. There is constant movement. Molecules metabolizing, atomic particles vibrating. From the very minute to the grosser parts, Everything in my body is in flux, in constant movement. Thank you. 
I am aware of constant movement outside my body also. Nothing is still. Even in the quietness of the room I'm in, the air around me is moving and exchanging with my breath. Clocks are ticking, electrons are buzzing. And outside, there is wind, rivers flowing, rains dropping, perhaps storms, clouds forming and dissolving. The earth is in constant movement, sometimes erupting in an earthquake or volcano. Other times, the movement is small and imperceptible, but it is there. Even a smooth and calm lake has constant movement within it. There is constant movement in the universe. Planets revolving, stars colliding, melting, exploding, 
collapsing, forming and unforming. Some of the movement is very volatile, appears to be violent. Some of the movement is very slow, but everything is in constant flux, constant movement. As I observe the constant movement within my body, within my thoughts, in the world, I ask, where is the calm? Is there calm or peace anywhere? Can I find peace in the midst of constant change? Is peace an entity? Can it be defined? Is peace a state of mind? 
Is it a space? Is it a feeling? I might classify movement as chaotic, frantic, orderly, or calm. Is there a difference? How do I decide on these classifications? Is there chaos or is there peace? Are they different? <laughs> 